a hearing on sentencing uh, in the, uh, uh, the court's decision here. What's the state's recommendation? Arrest charge, um, it's 360 days in house of correction. He's all suspended for two years in a good behavior. Whenever I mention good behavior, that means no felonies or misdemeanors or major motor vehicle violations. Do you understand that? Yes? Yes. As a fine of $620, which includes a penalty assessment to pay. Uh, on the second charge, it's 180 days consecutive suspended, so it's uh, 360 plus 180. They're all suspended time. Uh, the state's recommended some jail time, the lack of a record. Um, and my knowledge of the, the overall circumstances of the case is what spare me with a jail sentence here. Um, but your failure to be a good behavior could result in the imposition of some or all that time. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you plan to pay the fine? 
Let me ask you this first. Do you plan to appeal the decision? You don't have to decide. You don't have to decide right now. But if you do, it'll, it'll take effect. Right. You have about, I'll give you until Friday to note your appeal. Okay. If you're going to appeal, and the, the exhibits that were filed, I'll keep and I'll just send them upstairs to the Superior Court pending the appeal. If you're not going to appeal, uh, just uh, call the court and you get both of you can get state had exhibits as well. Right? Yes. Okay, I so, don't need them. What? I, well, I can get them okay. out of I think, this office and yeah, return them to you. Right? Um, so you need to know, let us know what you're going to do about the appeal, number one. If you're not going to appeal, you need to let us know what you're going to do about the fine. Do you understand the, dis the disposition? Yes. Any questions about it? No. Okay, so by Friday, let's make it by Friday at noon. Let us know, otherwise I'll assume it's not going to appeal uh, and uh, we'll have to figure out how to take care of it. Um, everything the state said about you, your conduct is correct. I mean, this is, I don't know what, this, what the court pointed out, it was a foolhardy move on your part uh, to do what you did. Uh, but under the circumstances, I don't think uh, jail sentence is warranted at this point. It's, you stay out of trouble and that won't be an issue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. So James, uh, what happened today? Oh, I was found guilty and sentenced for uh, disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. And what was your sentence? Uh, good question. It's kind of hard to follow it, but basically it seemed like now I have jail time hanging over my head, but it's all suspended. It's like a year and a half, I think, for, for two years, basically. And what's your decision going forward? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I might appeal, I might not, but I have till Friday to decide. So I got a couple of days, so I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Anything else stand out to you about today? No, I thought it was ridiculous that the, the state asked for jail time over this. Uh, I mean, obviously, I feel that uh, Burke had an agenda as well, but whatever. <laughs> Can you take this before a jury? I, I could, yes. How do you I don't think know if they I will do that or not? Okay. And to be clear, you were recording police for, and that's that's why you were arrested. That's correct. Okay. Well, they say I was interfering and what whatever nonsense they said. But my contention is I was acting as the press, and they didn't like that. But. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to appeal or not. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go get something, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm hungry. Mullions? Yeah, do that. Can you just walk? Yeah. Yeah, have a good day. Oh, God, that looks so sweet.